Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's time for our morning meeting or daily calendar. Let's begin. Today is Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Today is Thursday. The date is 7 2320 or July 23rd, 2020. The day of home learning is 78. So, what's in the tens place? Ten. What is in the hundreds place? Zero. What's in the ones place? Eight. Today, we're going to practice our skip counting by four. So, we're going to do our handy dandy hundreds chart. I'm going to go at four. One, two, three, four, eight. One, two, three, four, twelve. One, two, three, four, sixteen. One, two, three, four, twenty. One, two, three, four, twenty-four. One, two, three, four, twenty-eight. One, two, three, four, thirty-two. One, two, three, four, thirty-six. And one, two, three, four, forty. I like counting on the hundreds chart. All right. Today's money is we're looking for $30.80. We need two bills and four coins. So first, the largest bill that we've been working with is a $20 bill. Does 20 go into 30? Better believe it does. Okay, so 30 subtract 20 means we're going up by 10. So one, two is 20. What's left is 10. Does 20 go into 10? No. Does 10 go into 10? Duh. So we need a $20 bill and a $10 bill. Boop. Boop. Okay. Next, we need 80 cents. The largest coin we work with is a quarter, which is worth 25. So we're going to put a quarter. 25, because there's no way it doesn't fit into 80. Now we're doing our hundreds chart. Find my 80, 80. So we're gonna subtract 20, one, two, and then count back five. One, two, three, four, five. We're at 55 now. Does 25 go into 55? Better believe it. Okay, 55, same thing. One, two, Take away the 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 30. Does 25 go out of 30? Hey, it does. Okay. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What's left is 5. Well, 25 can't go out of 5. Next is a dime, which is 10. And we can't take 10 from 5. But a nickel, which I always has trouble writing upside down, I'm going to pretend that's an N you can get five out of. So, in order to make 80 cents, we need, uh, if I can pick them up, three quarters, one, two, three, and one nickel. Woohoo! <laughs> Next, we're on to our time. So, for this time, the clock has the big hand on the nine, so it means it's a big number. So let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So the minute is 45. Now, remember the rule. If it's still on, this side, you want to go above the hand, or above where it's pointing. So, it's pointing kind of toward the five, but we want to go above that because it hasn't passed this mark. So that number is four. So it's 4.45 on this clock. Got it? Good. All right, today is weather it is actually very humid again. Do you know why? Because last night 
there was a huge downpour. It poured so hard, I was worried that everything in the house was going to be wet. Luckily, it wasn't. Now, the downpour brought with it another warm front, which means that it's going to get hot, hot, hot again. So today and tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday are all going to be really warm days. So I want you guys to be inside and stay cool or be able to go swimming and do something that you enjoy that is not going to be too much for you. Now, with that in mind, I said that it's hot. It is warm this morning. It is something that you would be comfortable doing most things in. You could go for a walk and be fine. I could go for a run and mostly be, high, be fine, but the humidity makes it hard, especially with the masked run. Uh, bike rides would be great in this weather. And what else would I do? Oh, you could even swim in this weather because humidity and swimming is fine. The one thing you have to be careful of is it is supposed to have thunder showers or showers on and off today. So if you see a sign of lightning or hear thunder, get out of the water. It is not safe to swim or be outside on a bike when it's thundering lightning. Just for you to know. Okay, so starting out hot. It's comfortable hot though. So it's 77 right now. Now, it is going to go up 12 more degrees today. What do you think it's going to get up to? Think about it. Think about it. It's going to get up to... 89 degrees. Oh my goodness. That is hot, hot, hot. Though I think on either Saturday or Sunday, it's going to be in the 90s again. Whew. Good thing we like our um, summer weather like this. All right. You ready for the bonus? Today's bonus is since it's Thursday, which is our art day, I wanted to show you some of the pictures I drew when I was in high school, believe it or not. Yeah, it's been a long time. So, these are ones that I used to draw. I liked to draw pictures in black and white with pencil of things that I found. So this was a picture of my older brother as a baby. This was a picture of my baby brother as a baby. He's not actually that small. He's only like two years younger than me. No, he's only a year younger than me. What am I thinking? My older brother is two years older than me. This is my older brother again as a toddler. I had trouble with mouths in this one. This was a picture of my mom. And then this is just some other random doodles that I did. But my favorite thing to draw, believe it or not, was pictures of things. So this one I actually copied my own hand and drew it in the world. This was a picture of Phyllis Wheatley. This was me just looking at my friend's profile and drawing her in, but I had trouble with hair, so I just kind of went with it there. <laughs> I don't think I have many more in this one. Yeah, not many more in this one. I actually never finish sketchbooks when I start them. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I like drawing, but I don't really stop very often. Or... I don't really finish very often. <laughs> but yeah, that's something that I enjoyed doing. If there's something that you enjoy, it doesn't matter whether you're good or bad. You get better with time. And it's all something that you do because you enjoy. You don't do it because you're good at it all the time. You do it because you like it. And there's a lot of things I like that I'm not very good at. And that's okay. And there's some things that I like to do that I'm really good at. What is important is that you do something that you like and it helps bring you joy. Sound good? All right. I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Bye.